Here at the Israeli School of Architecture and Urbanism, we offer uh, a variety of study abroad options, both at graduate and the undergraduate level. Uh, the idea, of course, is to uh, expose our students to the broader world and to ultimately expose the broader world to our students. In February of this year, my, my colleague Ben Gianni and I took 40 students to China. Uh, it was a completely different experience than any of the travel experience we've had before. Um, traveling to a, a country like China where you, you know, there's, it's not, in some regions it's not very English speaking and uh, could be quite intimidating to travel to, so um, going with the school seemed like a really, really good approach. I thought I knew what congestion was at rush hour and the subway in, in both Beijing and Shanghai, it was almost like watching water come in to a box and fill in all of the cracks. The people just surged in, literally surged in. I'm, I'm from Shanghai. I'm really interested in uh, seeing uh, my classmates' reactions because they're from a different culture. A lot of, a lot of beautiful things in China that uh, I didn't expect to see or, or didn't sort of research. And then when I, when I sort of came, it was sort of heat in the face and it was a fantastic. Um, you know, it's a sort of spontaneous thing. There was a public park in Hangzhou, which is a city about two hours away from uh, Shanghai. Um, and uh, it, was, it was a truly like sort of magical landscape that you would picture in a movie. So that was uh, really, really neat to see. Uh, Beijing National Arts Center, sort of also called The Egg. I was also really impressed by the Stephen Hall uh, linked hybrid housing complex. The Great Wall. Uh, it's beyond comprehension. And what really captivated me was the more traditional uh, uh, architecture of the, of the hutongs and the, and the lilongs, which is uh, the old courtyard style housing. It has a blurry or not defined, an indefined relationship with the exterior. You know, what does a city look like where people live? Uh, at extremely high densities, how well or poorly does it function? What's you know what's the quality of the built environment? Um, so it, it's always about understanding a new culture, but it's also about understanding your own culture better by comparison. Um, and, and I mean, in going on this trip with a whole bunch of people that speak your language of architecture and who are passionate about it, uh, it, it becomes an experience that is unmatched. So during these DSA trips, uh, one of the highlights is visiting a site that we assigned to the students as their site for their studio project. And in this case, we assigned a, uh, a community center, library, and, and boat club on the Suzhou River, which is a, a defining river in the city of Shanghai. Going to China and seeing how people live on a day-to-day -day basis uh, definitely, um, definitely made me think about how my building would be used. And by the time I got back, my building had changed completely because I had so many new inspirations. They get to the site, they understand the site, and then when they come back from China, they continue to work on this project to the end of the term, so they're continuing to live uh, within that experience right up till the end of the term. When you go and visit these buildings, you're not just studying it as uh, an observer on the internet, you're actually occupying the space, you're walking around, you're looking at the craft, the execution of the materials. I mean, you actually get to experience the building rather than just study it and observe it. The, the architect is someone who, who needs to understand people and society and places. You only know what you know, and you can only compare what you see against what you've already experienced in a way. So this is part of the accumulation of experiences that they will have to make sense of, of, of things in the future as well as the things that they've seen in the past. I've wanted to be an architect since I was 12 years old. Um, I think I've always been headed towards something to do with design. And the School of Architecture here has, sort of has that uh, sort of gritty feel. You know, it's in this completely concrete building that you really feel like you can do anything in and make a mess and, you know, it really sort of um, enhances the design process. The people are amazing. Just, we all stay up all night in the studio and just are always helping each other out. The studios facilitate a sense of community that I've never experienced before and that really surprised me. And I've mentioned a few times and I think, you know, because most people here are younger than me, they think I'm kind of corny, but it's just, we become a big family that we share almost every moment every single day together. We, we share all the hard times, all the all-nighters, um, and we're always there to support one another. We have this great, huge, massive support network. I mean, we're just, we're one massive family.